Whose idea was it to get up I, this early? You know what? It's what? incredible that uh, I just this second walked in to this place. Really? And you drove exactly. Is that coordination or what? It it is coordination. Get in. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Let's go. The um, the rocket that I've been building for the last couple weeks uh, for the new book. We're going to launch that today. And I'd like to try to launch it three times. Launch it and recover it three times. And then we're going to be static testing some uh, nitrous hybrids. And Alberto is actually going to be flying a nitrous hybrid since he is uh, more experienced that type of engine than I do. That's an ambitious plan. That's an ambitious plan today. You know, a lot of. It is. A lot of engines, a lot, a lot of rockets. Everything. Should be fun. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. No clouds. The sun is just coming out. Perfecto. Perfecto. It's coming this way. <laughs> Alright, so here's the rocket. It's all set to go. Got 360 degrees and the cameras on it. Four cameras, each recording 90 degrees of video. And there's the igniter. We're going to be over here. We're going to see if it works. Alright, let's check it out. Beauty, beauty. You got it, Ben? Amigo. Yeah, I got it. All right, so good flight, not 100% straight, but uh, definitely got up there. Aperture detector, once again, worked perfectly. We're on our way to pick it up. It's not far, maybe, maybe 100 yards, and then we're going to uh, refit it and fly it again. Second time today, hopefully do three. That would be fantastic. All right, here we are. Rocket looks good. There's the parachute. Nothing wrong with the rocket. Look at that piston. Man, it worked good. Comes right to the top, pushes out everything. So freaking nice. Look at that. All right, so here we go with launch number two. Hopefully everything will work just as good as it did the first time. This time I only have one camera in the nose instead of four, because um, they just take too long to download. So I'm not going to sit around here for an hour while the weather's really good. So we're going to light this one up. Let's see what happens. Keep your fingers crossed. All right, so that's number two. Perfect flight. Uh, we're gonna go get it now. We gotta drive to get this one. Land it a little bit farther. See, this is a perfect example of how it's so hard to find the rocket in the desert because check it out. You could be walking along. You're like, you're like, oh, where's the rocket? Where's the rocket? And literally, you just come up on top of it, and it's right here. And it, you wouldn't have seen it just because of this little road. But it looks. Perfect. Looks fantastic. Piston worked perfectly again. Engine, smoke, nose cone, you name it. Hey, Dan, All right, so let's. Uh, are we going to try three four, times? Three? Yes. Let's, uh, let's 
pack another engine. What? Turn off the camera. Oh, okay. Let's pack another engine in it and uh, see if we can go for three for three in one day. For us, that's a record. What does your shirt say anyway? It says, all the important drunk people of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not one of those. <laughs> Hey, also, don't uh, don't tell my wife I'm using the new car to go get the rocket in the desert. <laughs> there you go. All right, so here we go with number three. First time ever, one rocket three times in a day. Let's keep our fingers crossed. All right, so this one, maybe 200 feet from the launch pad, just fantastic, beautiful flight, nice and straight, and uh, couldn't be more happy. Three times in one day, the same rocket. That design is just strong. I mean, it's, it's, it's so simple and it's tough and it's, I love it. I, I just love it. I think it's fantastic. All right, so here it is. There's the rocket, nose cone and parachute. And if we had another engine, we could throw it up there again. How great is that apogee detector? I mean, yeah, you could buy one that's, you know, 99 bucks or something, but I mean, we made this and it works fantastic consistently. No uh, doubt about it. Beautiful. I mean, I, I don't mean to go on and on and on about myself. <laughs> Three times in a day. It's freaking awesome. Well, this rocket is um, made out of cardboard, reinforced with uh, epoxy and mylar. And um, the engine comes about to up here. It has a 20 inch, inch and a half tank. Uh, Nox, nitrous oxide tank. Uh, Oxidizer, PVC engine, 18 inch long. You can see the bottom of it. So this is the tube that feeds the uh, the nitrous oxide from the tank. Going. Holy crap! We found out better's rocket. It uh, it kind of smashed into the ground pretty hard, but uh, still worked. Still works pretty good for, for a first try. So we're gonna do one of my statics. All right, so that one uh, obviously didn't light. So on this one, we've gone ahead and put in a second igniter in the front because for some reason that one just blew the igniter out that was the plug. So uh, we put in two in this one, and hopefully this is exactly the same except for that. So hopefully we can get it to light. Check it out. So it was a fantastic rocket day. Everything worked great. Um, that one rocket that we flew three times that I built for the book, it's just such a solid design. I love it. It's it's just perfect. Um, Alberto's hybrid, it worked great. The ejection didn't work, but still the engine was fantastic. And then my three set hybrid statics, uh, they didn't like. So back to the drawing board on those, but it was my first try at it, and uh, that's part of the fun.